Teacher. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to read Kevin's Birthday, written by Anne Hearth. Kevin jumped out of bed. It's my birthday. In this picture, who do you think is Kevin? And why is he happy in this photo? He ran to the bathroom. He brushed his teeth. He washed his face. He looked in the mirror. It's my birthday. Kevin ran downstairs. The house was quiet. It's my birthday, he said. He looked in the kitchen. It was empty. How do you think Kevin feels in this photo? Does he feel sad, happy, confused? He might be wondering why the kitchen is empty since it's his birthday. What do you think he was expecting to be downstairs? He looked in the living room. It was empty too. He looked in the dining room. Nobody was there. Where do you think everyone is? Could they be out at the store? Or they forgot Kevin's birthday? Maybe they're hiding? It's my birthday, Kevin whispered. Where is everyone? Kevin opened the back door. There were presents and balloons and pancakes. Surprise! Everybody yelled. It's your birthday. How do you think Kevin is feeling in this photo? There are presents and his fan friends and family yelled surprise. So I'm, I'm thinking he is number one, surprise. Number two, happy. So I have some questions. Where was Kevin's family? So in the story, where was Kevin's family? What time of day is it? Do you think that the story took place in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? Most likely in the morning, because if you go back to the first few pages, Kevin had just jumped out of bed and then he brushed his teeth and washed his face. And then that should answer question number three. What does Kevin do when he first wakes up? If you remembered, when Kevin first woke up, he jumped out of bed and yelled, it's my birthday. And then the last question is, what will Kevin have for breakfast? Do you remember what Kevin's family gave him for breakfast? So on this page, it said that there were presents and balloons and pancakes. So Kevin had pancakes for breakfast. All right, that's the end of our story. Have a nice day, Asher.